What's going on everyone, Havoc here. I'm going to go over some updates for the Legion Go. Now just be aware that some of these are not officially released by Lenovo and are created by people on the internet if you choose to download them. I have downloaded them and I haven't had any issues. So before getting started, I think it's important to create a restore point in case anything was to go horribly wrong. You can always roll back to the save point. So to do that, it's pretty simple. You're going to press start and then in search, you're going to write restore point. And then on here, you see create a restore point. You're going to click that. And then on the bottom, it says create a restore point right now. So you just click create, name it whatever you want. Restore point two. Then hit create. And then that's going to create a restore point for you. And that's it. Okay, so now that's done. Let's get started. Starting off with adding two different screen resolutions, 900p and 1050p. Thanks to a Reddit user for this. Now we have the ability to change the resolutions. So to do this, first you need to download the registry file, which I'll put in the description below. So this is what it's gonna say, go resolution.reg. After, extract the file and click it to run. It will give you a registry error and ask if you're sure you want to continue. Click yes. Then the registry will be added to your system. Afterward, restart your device. Once your system is booted up, the Legion Space Quick Menu won't recognize these new resolutions it will still show the original resolutions that came with the software. However, you can confirm that these are added by going into Settings, System, Display, and Display Resolution. So over here, you're going to see that now you have 1050 and 900. Before, these were not available. And like I said, if you come over to the Quick Settings for the Legion Space, you'll see that only the three that were included initially are still there. Another way to confirm that you have the new resolutions is by opening up any game. So we'll just open up Borderlands 2 and see what display resolutions show up under our settings. So here we can go into settings and then on here resolution, you can see 900, 1050, 1200, 1600. So that just confirms that our resolutions are all added. Next up is updating the Legion space. Currently, if you open up Legion space, go to settings, and click general, it will show your Legion Space version 1.0.2.1. There's an update for it out now, which is the version 1.0.2.3. And for some users, it's showing up as 1.0.2.2, which I think depends on your location. If for some reason it doesn't show up as an update automatically, then I'll put the link in the description below and you can get it from there. But what it does is it improves some of the bugs in the program and adds a dark color scheme. It also seems to make the text sharper, whereas before it was a bit blurry. So it gives it a cleaner look overall. The lesion button will open up the quick settings in one click instead of clicking it two to three times to get to it. You can also disable booting into lesion space when starting up. So click the link, then follow the prompts to download. Once you're done downloading, you can restart the device. Third is installing a beta version of BIOS that was leaked. This is a pre-release, so you don't have to download it right now if you would rather wait for the release version. But what this version does is it allows you to set the VRAM to six gigs. Right now we're locked to three, four, and eight gigs. Anyway, to do this, you'll have to navigate to this link here where it says N3CN25WW, which I'll put in the description below. Once you have downloaded it, open the folder and double click the file. It's going to say Windows protected your PC. You can click more info and then click run anyway. It will then open up and ask if you want to proceed with the BIOS update now, then click next. Then follow the prompts and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, your device will restart. After it's updated and your device has restarted, proceed to shut down and then once it's off, press the power button and the volume up button to boot up the BIOS menu. Press BIOS setup, then more settings on the bottom right, then configuration, and under UMA frame buffer size, if you click the drop down, it will show the 6 gigs option. Select it, then save and exit changes. Once you're back in Windows, you can open up the AMD Adrenaline software and go to settings at the top right. And you should see your VRM display 6144 MB or 6 gigs. Now this next one's pretty simple. It's to improve the speaker quality. You can download another software like FX Sound or you can just use the Realtek audio you have in Legion Go. So click start and then search for Realtek and it will show you Realtek audio consoles. Click that and once it's open, go to speakers. Scroll down and you can set your settings similar to what I have. Or you can click the rock preset and it pretty much mimics what these settings are. Well. That's all the updates I have. I hope these are helpful for you, and hopefully we can get some proper updates from Lenovo real soon. Thanks for watching. Havoc out.